Hello there, my name is Yamin, AMC Soft, and in this video, I will continue my Beatrix administration course, and today we will discuss leads. So, this is my plan. We're going to discuss this work in list Kanban calendar activity mode. So, Kanban list activities calendar mode. Then we're going to discuss lead settings, this menu. Then we're going to discuss uh, recycle bin, which is located here. Then we're going to discuss filters inside of leads, which is located here. And also we're just going to discuss this filter. Then uh, quickly create, how to quickly create lead and display the lead card in Kanban. These two parts is quite similar to each other. Okay, let's go. So leads, for leads you got uh, four different types of view them. Kanban view, first of all. Kanban view, classical Kanban view when you go to stages for lead and which each stage means something, right? And you can edit that leads, you can edit stage of that leads by deleting stage or editing them. So for example, when you got empty lead, you have something like that. For example, you got only one stage and you need to add some more. Uh, on the last stage, you got plus always. When you click on it, you got new stage and you can give a new stage like uh, check client data. So you can create a new stage, change the color and invoice send, something like that. And, you know, when you move uh, lead between stages, you can understand what happened physically with your leads and you understand what should be done or what you're going to do. And actually, in my previous videos, you know how to set up triggers or robots using automation rules. Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, you can change your view of the data inside of a Kanban. So if you go inside of that uh, lead, and for example, you will put amount of them. Um, so we got phone number, created, and you can, um, for example, put some additional information and put name of a client, like Amin, David Birth, position, email, okay? And you can see that data inside of a lead, but you want to see that data inside of a lead uh, the uh, lead card as well, which is not displaying here. To see that data, you need to go here in settings page, Kanban settings, config from view leads. So extract name, last name, date of birth, company, position. Okay. So now you can see all data which you see inside of lead. Uh, when you create lead, right, you can set up that uh, config create form leads as well, fields as well but we will discuss that later. Okay, when you got list view, list view is good uh, when you want to see many leads in one table and you can see that data. Uh, the good thing here is that you can, if you click in this very important button, a settings button, you can select which data you want to see. Okay, and uh, so that's why you can understand what happened actually. And then once you extracted mainly why you need a list is why you extract the data you need. You click here and export leads to Excel. That means that if you select this, you will extract all fields, but usually need only fields which you see in that table. Run, download export file and open that file. So you can, you can have Excel with data. Good. Now, then you got activities. Activities is mean that if, for example, you got a lot of leads and in Kanban list view, and you want to understand what you need to do exactly. For example, inside of each lead, you can create an activity. And inside of that activity, uh, you set up a date, okay? And you can, for example, execute on the leads which need to be done, which, which is overdue, or due today, or due this week, next week and so on. For example, in Kanban view, I go test lead and you create activity, do something, create a contract, okay? And you set up that date for tomorrow. So it means that by tomorrow you need to create that contract and save, okay? So that contract uh, need to be done tomorrow and in Kanban view, 
you can see is actually don't see it because it's not need to be done today but if i will change for today it will be activated here okay also actually can create activity here contact customer okay right so anyway in kanban you can see that in stage stage where it is but if you go to activities you can see that it's now in due date because you set up activity for today okay but if you will change your activity for you know like you passed that activity you forget to do it it's become to overview or I change activity for example next week it will go to win next week or if i will do here okay do it later quite understandable right so this is the main reason why I should do activities okay when you go to calendar view calendar view describe any data field inside of your lead for example inside of a lead you got created on data field okay if you go to calendar view and you set up day created on month you can see that today we created test lead okay if we go in kanban view and we will create another lead like test two in kanban in calendar view you can see that we got another lead so also you can create directly in calendar view as well okay right but also you can create some custom field or a booking resource field okay let's test that let's create a field for date and that date will be deadline to send contract okay save and now we can set up for the tomorrow okay deadline okay and we can select this deadline sent to contract okay and we got lead with deadline for that particular date so if we're going back create it on and we go inside and set up a deadline for this date another lead for another date okay and if we go into create it on to the deadline to send contract you can see leads for different dates okay but also you inside of a lead you can create booking resource i will tell more about this booking resource field on my another video but i will give you just an example here so create field booking resource and will be something like haircut okay and resource will be name like john mike okay and uh, it will be men haircut women haircut okay okay uh so i created and now i am selecting date for example that happened uh tomorrow and 11 a.m and service will be men haircut and will be resource john okay here save right and uh, for that lead i will set up something similar and i will select this date this time and that's it and then uh, here so i need to update i can extract haircut booking resource field as well okay and i see these two leads which i set time here uh, for this particular field okay good okay that's it for now okay that's it for now for these four different views let's go further right lead settings right so we go out here calendar settings so check configuration if you check if you connect it with you know, calls social media and messages receive online payments solution presence this solution is mean that you can upload solution which developed by some agency but it's very important if you've done something if you will import it it, all your previous settings will be vanished so be it's very dangerous to use it right crm mode so that means that you can use leads deals and contacts or just deal and contacts but in our case we use this one leads deals and contacts if you will use an hour mode it will be leads will just disappear so config stages you can set up 
stages for Kanban manually as we've done here or we uh, uh, config stages okay so we got some different view when we go into Kanban anyway so Kanban view explained we can import leads using that field but uh, I will I will explain that later it's a bit time consuming to explain it now and also migrate from uh, other CRM you can upload some application which will help you to import data from other CRMs and also you got lead generator the same stuff if you want to for example uh, install application which gener will generate leads for you like you know, for example our application for LinkedIn integration with Bitrix So duplicate control. At time to time, you have many leads which got the same email and phone number. In time to time, you need to check merge duplicate leads to scan it, find it, and combine all leads in one uh, with the same phone number and email to one lead, which is very important because, for example, if you do an SMS campaign, an email campaign, if you will have, for example, ten leads with the same phone number, email. That means that your customer will get your email 10 times or SMS 10 times, which is not good, right? Right. Find and merge duplicates as these settings when system will do it that automatically for you. So you can do it daily, means that system will check duplicates themselves each day and it will send you a notification right here. Means that you will find the duplicates, please merge them. Okay, you check. So this is just needed daily, week, every two weeks, month, or never in my working portal i set as daily so i check in duplicate every day okay so check configuration so we'll discuss already that and uh, solution crm mode proactive crm so proactive crm means that if for example i will enable it and if i will open a lead if i will close the lead with not, without doing nothing it will ask me to do something so it's not, it didn't work for some reason enable lead smart activities activity reminder for example if i open lead doing nothing and close yeah so if you have nothing inside of lead not no plans it will ask you probably should to do something you shouldn't open a lead without not entering any data there okay but i think it's quite annoying and that's why i just set it as focus mode means that do not remind me to put any data here okay console okay let's go further recycle bin so that means that if you uh, deleted leads by mistake you can um, restore them so if you go in here or oh, oh, so don't suggest again never if you delete this and uh, you deleted the uh, lead but for some reason you want to restore it you need to click more go to recycle bin and find that lead is somewhere which is not here somewhere here anyway so you can click all leads and recover so all lead cre uh, restored right now also we got filters by leads inside of a lead in Kanban. Inside of a lead, you can have many activities. For example, you got activity, activity, tasks, commands, activity, outgoing email, and many other activities. Right? So, but you want to, for example, find some particular task in, inside of that lead. For that, you need to go to the filter, which is located here, and click here, filter and search, and select, for example, tasks. Okay? So you got all tasks here. Inside, inside of that, for example, you can create it by me, okay? And select all tasks which are created by me. But also you can save that filter. Click save and task created by Emin. Save. And then next time you can just go to that filter, click here, and you will see task which is created by you, okay? And so the same manner you can find communications calls 
commands, automation rules which executed, which is not located here, documents, system events, and probably some applications. There's a filter inside of Elite, but also you get a filter in the right here. Very useful thing. And inside of a filter, you can find particular lead you need. Usually you select it by responsible person. Okay, so you know all all this set by me. So my uh, under work. So it's now a filter. So I don't need this closed as successful leads. And also I can find the responsible. So adding to status lead in progress, adding the responsible person filter. And also I want to create it on, for example, yesterday. So no leads is created yesterday, but current day. So this leads created today. Okay, right. So you can add a field and also you can save a filter in the same manner. So add a field and you can find, for example, find the leads by email, by products inside of that, by city, by region and so on. So just add that field. Okay, so name of a client and search it. Once you're done, you can save that filter and, and give a name to the filter. Filter, search, name, filter by name. Okay, and save it. And next time, just if you go here, filter by name and you will be filtered. Quite simple, I think. Right, then we got quickly create leads and configure fields with creating a lead. So also, Usually you can create a lead by by clicking on this button, old old school style. But that's good if you if you want to you know put a lot of data here. But usually lead created automatically by incoming email, incoming SMS, comments in Facebook and so on. But also we got an option to create very fast. Like click here and enter data. Like test, put name, client name, Hemming, create new contact, put. Uh, phone number, email, address, and some details, company name, okay? And put some data here and save it, okay? But also you can customize which you want to customize view form fields to display data like we've done here, but also you can customize quick create form fields, okay? So which data you want to extract uh, to fill once you want to create lead quickly okay name second name last name date phone email company name amount okay next time so refresh when you click here so you got another view but in real life you usually don't need that because nobody create or a small amount of people create leads manually usually they are created automatically it's not saving for some reason okay probably i just incorrect some data incorrectly okay doesn't matter now, so we will discuss lead card Kanban right here. That's it for now. Too much information. And in my next video, I will continue explanation what lead e leads is about.